Hello and welcome back. My name is Susie and we're here with some more Mutazione. There is no way that there isn't more than like two or three more episodes. Like I feel like we're in the end, end game here. There's no way there's more than like, I don't know, but I'm really excited. We are going to go in the spirit world today. Hopefully I thought it was going to be last episode, but I'm thinking it's going to be this one. Let's check it out. All right. Oh, right, right. There's more stuff I have to get. Okay. Um, I think Tung and Grob are supposed to work together. Okay. Gotta take this weird lizard skull to the dot shaman at the top of the tree. All right. Well, let's go see what Tung and Grob are up to. You guys have anything more to say? No. Maybe I should have gone the other way. Nothing. Let's check in here really quick. Oh! So you'll be by the lighthouse? That substantially decreases your likelihood of falling in the sea. Have we dealt with all the worst case scenarios? Let's move on to the stuff that's definitely going to happen. Like how it starts. Ooh, oh shit, okay, sorry. Gotta get in the, in the <laughs> country zone. <laughs> What, what do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, every time. How are you going to greet her? You've just been friends before now. The state is the beginning of renegotiating that. Uh, don't stress him out, Miu. Just let him be, hang out as friends, you know? Oh, heck. It's okay, just talk me through it. Should I kiss her on the cheek? Oh, we are eaves eavesdropping. If you're ever unsure, ask. That's a really good advice, actually. Okay, so I show up. Yep. But what if I'm the first one there? Then you wait for her. Should I have flowers? Sounds nice. What if I take the wrong flowers? Okay, maybe let's save flowers for the second date. I'm a wreck, kitten. It'll be okay. Yes, it will. It'll be just fine. You guys have been friends for years. You know enough about each other. Just hang out like it's any other day. Oh, hey, I've never seen you over here before. How's Tongue doing with Grob? I'm trying to stay close so I can step in. I think it's going okay. I actually haven't gone over there yet, so I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to, to try and invent a new knot. Sounds lovely. Ugh, it just won't do! So sorry? Oh, not you, Bo. All I can think of is tonight. It'll be fine, don't worry. You both know you like each other. That's the worst part, not knowing. I just... I've been daydreaming about it for so long. I'm just worried it'll never live up to it. Want a basket, Hope? Or a net? I would love a basket, thank you. Y'all, keep your expectations low and you'll be fine. Expect the worst, but 
you know, don't like, just don't get your hopes up and you'll be fine. Oh my God. Stop lollygagging. I knew I'd get no useful work out of you today. Uh. Ugh, what? I, uh, just wanted to, uh, spit it out. I'm going to fish. Uh, I mean, I'm going to start up a fishing business. Trade what we don't need with the mainland. Am I supposed to jump for joy? Um, after it's up and running, I won't be able to work for you anymore. Let me get this straight. Not only did you, did you steal my girl and my baby, you're setting out to steal my business too? No, no. Why should I trust you? But I promise, it won't be able to make it to, I, it won't be able to make it to the mainland. Well, I can't say I was looking forward to having you around the place anyhow. You're right. Ah. Not about the boat. Um, about trusting me. I get it. But I want us to get along. And to do that, I have to move on, become my own man. Oh, playing the reasonable card, are you? I can barely look at you. You can wish it better all you like, but you took a path and you need to deal with the consequences. I'm going to do my best for both Aelin and the ba the Bairn. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that, right? That's like the the Scottish um, word for baby. But I don't owe you anything. I'll leave you alone. Damn. Stone cold. Well, it was never going to be easy, but at least it didn't turn into a fist fight. Shoo. <laughs> I do kind of feel bad for Grob, but I'm also not his biggest fan. It's just, it's sad. Overall, bad situation for everyone. Still nothing new. And I am going to the top, yeah. The shaman is a woman, right? I think that's what he said. You cannot disturb me this time. Everything has settled down in the treetop. Papu is recovering. I am too content. No, content is imprecise. I feel exhilarated. Good for you, buddy. in the top of the branches? Thanks. Technit two. I 
feel like we we couldn't understand what they were saying before. I'm just so surprised that we now all of a sudden understand them. Where did that come from, huh? Sorry, guys. Ugh. Always tired. Up, 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 up. And this, this guy ain't the shaman. Oh, it is a shaman. Okay. Uh, you're the shaman, right? Nit, bick, do. Nep, nip, nep. Also, I believe Grandpa said not to make jokes. I don't know. Tick, tick. Uh, let's agree with her. That's right. Nit do. Nit do. Totem. Nit tick. D nut nup nup. Uh. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? Ow, what was that? Do tick knit tuck do. Uh, thanks. Knit knit nup. Careful. Oh. Careful. Um, I wonder if it's like they're trying to discover an animal that kind of represents you, like a bird. So we got a... The feather of a large unknown bird given by the dot shaman as a suitable totem. So yeah, I was just trying to figure out what bird represents us, I guess. That's pretty interesting. Sorry if you can hear my dog licking the chair in the background. <laughs> Nothing else. Okay. Something really weird just happened there. Also, I have a totem now. Is a feather good? Maybe it's bad. It means I'm a lightweight shaman. <laughs> or maybe it's good and it'll make me be able to fly in visions and stuff. Oh man, I really hope it means the flying thing. Wonder how the lovebirds are getting on. I wonder if Yoke has any last hints about this ritual. Okay. Let's talk to Grandpa first. I'm not going all the way down and all the way back. So, do you have a totem? Interesting. It appears to be the feather from a great crested tern. Fast moving, moving steam lined creature. Always has its sights set ahead. Oh yes, this will do well for you. That's it for now. Meet me in my hut tonight. I know perhaps I have been pushing you. It has been frustrating. But tonight everyone will become everything will become clear. We will find the answers I need. I could not have done it without you. I am proud. 
very proud. Thank you, Grandpa. That means a lot. You're pretty, you're pretty cool, Grandpa. <laughs> we haven't talked to our mom in a while. I wonder if tonight's one of those nights we can talk to our mom. Hey, Kai. Don't mind me. Just getting a bit of fresh air. All right, that's not suspicious at all. I bet they're out there right now. You'll need to make some changes if you're to take her beyond the reef. Sure, sure. But I thought I'd start on the reef and get the hang of it. Before I start to think about modification. Sorry. Enjoying the beautiful sunset. Very sensible, very sensible. Allows you to better inform your design, uh, your designs. The sun low on the sea, magical. I must say, I'm very proud, very proud of you, lad. Let me know if you want my eye over your plans. Thanks, but I feel like I want to work this out myself. Now I think on it, it's a full moon tonight. You know what they say. Mori. Typical, typical. You're both so old-fashioned. Damn, Mori. You sassy. Honestly, after all this time, you have to wish her a bit of fun. I love mom, and I want her to be happy. I just don't want to, um, picture it. Have you thought about storage on the boat? <laughs> I wonder if he'll bring her flowers. You'll need to think about how you store the nets so it, you can furl and unfurl them effectively. Apparently, Bo's figured out how to make nets that don't tangle. That kid is a bit of a wild card. He can really weave. Oh lord. Let's hope he's not gone and written her another song. I hope he has, and I'm sure she'll love it. He's out here by herself. It's been a weird week. I like to say we're not always like this, but we are. Everything okay with you? I guess. Spike's on his date right now. Tongue's planning his new fishing boat. I guess everyone is moving forward. Gotta work on that. I feel really bad for Miu. She's got a... She's had a tough life. And it must be really hard to move forward from that. You know, you kind of just think, like, what's next? Uh, yeah, I guess no one no one would be in there. Now we're gonna go <laughs> spy on a date. <laughs> we have issues.
And then I realized, I don't even know what your favorite flowers are. That's okay. I don't know why it would have come up. For future reference, I like er, er orchids and rose reeds. Next time, I promise. So, uh, how was your day? If I'm honest, I spent most of my worrying about tonight. Me too. Poor old me, you had to listen to me go on and on. OPEC must, must be very bored with me worrying about my hair. Your hair looks, looks beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm still listening. So, Bopec wove me this beautiful basket and said that one color was me and the other was you. And that it meant we would have a nice time. A good kid, that one. He is. I worry about him sometimes. Our little foundling. I feel like we did a good job of raising him in his early years. I know what you're getting at. Now he's a bit in between. And he's got his peculiarities. Can get on folks' nerves. With no no getting better though. Feeling like maybe we turned a corner. I hope so. Oh, I am listening till the end, baby. The sky is so beautiful tonight. You're radiant. I can't believe this is happening. And I haven't even fallen in the sea. You don't understand, though. How long I've daydreamed about this. Even when I first met... Ugh, even when I first saw you. When I was just a shy kid. When I came here, I was a heartbroken mess. But I remember it was you who made me stay. Really? Sure was. Thought I was just stopping for supplies. Offer money, but you wouldn't hear it. Gave me everything I needed all wrapped up neat in these big old leaves. And I thought maybe this weird hippie place is just what I need. They stretched out into weeks. I began to find a rhythm here. But you were what started it. It's so good to hear that from you. Saw me. Ah! Sorry, I'm really, okay, I'm starting over. It's so good to hear that you saw me. What? Why did they lead us all the way back here? Are they gone now? Oh, old people in love are so cute. I don't think they're that old. Jeez. Um... They're still over there. Hey, <laughs> we're being really creepy. <laughs> but that was really sweet. I 
love the music right now. It's really pretty. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, no, it's back. Thank you. I wonder if Yoke has any last hints about the ritual. Well, I already talked to him, so am I supposed to meet him up in his shack? Did I fuck up? I did it out of order and now the game doesn't know what to do? Unless I was supposed to talk to Mori or something first. Ugh, I think I have to make sure time goes by. <sighs> How am I supposed to make the time pass? Go see what Mori has to say, if there's any updates there. For Miu, maybe? That's all I can think of. Else. I'm a little worried I broke the game. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. It's Yoke, not No No. Why did I think it was No No? It's Yoke. Stupid, stupid. Sorry, everyone. Probably mad. <laughs> if anyone's watching. <laughs> but yeah, I fucked up. So let's go talk to Yoke. See if he has any hints. Kai, I am surprised to see you. I had thought you'd set your sights on this ritual business. He looks pretty sad. Is everything okay? You sound a bit... <sighs> well, I'm sure Nono told you we had a bit of a disagreement. What's... I just don't understand what the rush is. Why can't he take his time? Introduce you to some of the safer practices. You don't think I should try the witch ritual thingy? With enough time and training, perhaps. But he insists on carrying on like there's no tomorrow. Isn't Grandpa kind of an expert in this stuff, though? No expert ever finds their expertise without mistakes. It's not even his tradition to share! Forgive me. Just 
Just promise me you will take care. Of course. I'll make sure he explains everything really clearly. My son trained with him for more than a year, and still, wasn't safe. Perhaps I am letting the past catch up with me. You are not R.D. Not that it's on your list of concerns for today, but I finished translating Mani's notes. Something about mushroom tree symbiosis in the centipede pacifying qualifies of papu petals. Oh, qualities? Wait, in the centipede pacifying qualities of pa papu petals. Quite why you'd want to pass pacify a centipede, I don't know. I'm sorry for losing my temper, dear girl. Please, just take care. Damn. I feel really bad because I know... I know he's just concerned and obviously he lost his son because of it. But I feel like he's underestimating us just a little bit. Because <laughs> we're badass. Oof. I thought he was going to be excited. Instead, it's some lecture about safety first. I know Yoke's, Yoke's son was killed or something. And that's obviously totally sad. But this isn't like that at all. <laughs> I actually think it's a lot more like that than she's letting on. This is probably exactly what he did with Yo with uh, No-No. Same training, same spirit world. Maybe we are being a little too um, carefree about the whole thing. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't be doing it, but we'll see. I don't think we have much of a choice in the matter. It'll be fine, old friend. He'll take care of her. I just... Of course you worry. But I'm confident no harm will come to her. Well, now I'm a little worried. <laughs> this is really setting it up for, um... Some bad things to happen. Plus, you know, I keep having so many bad dreams and shit. Like, they're all like almost like they're premonitions trying to warn me about doing this sort of thing. And I know that this is all, I think it's all to try and heal the papu tree, but I feel like haven't we already kind of done that? We've regrown the gardens. I don't know. There's a reason why the Fung has set up bunch of protectors. Maybe we're not supposed to be there. Is it true? Are you really messing around in shaman things? Chill. It's just some meditating together or something. Oh no. This is not the right thing to say. You know we lost our deed to that stuff, right? Of course you do. He was Nono's apprentice for months. You've been here less than a week, and you're going on some spirit journey with him? Dude, I don't know. Honestly, Mew, I'll be fine. Maybe I'm just a bit wounded. Look. It means a lot to me that you care, but honestly, I think it's all just been a way for him to get to know me. 
You know how some people need, like, a task? So they can talk to you? Anyway, the spirit stuff is pretty interesting. Maybe I'll get to fly like a bird, or zoom to the bottom of the ocean, or become a tiny bug on a tree. Maybe you'll be driven from your mind and burn your house down. Christ. Christ. God damn. Just please be careful. I feel like, yeah, we're being really insensitive about everything that's already happened before. But let's, uh, let's check it out. Please don't hurt me. <sighs> he looks so happy. Uh, hi. Well now, here we are. Are you feeling okay? I don't know. I guess I was wondering if this was dangerous at all. Thank you for being honest with me. In fact, it's paramount that you let me know if you're not feeling comfortable. Each step we, we make should be entirely with your consent. A spirit journey when guided by a practice shaman should feel safe and easy. We will just go a short way with the help of my guide. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <sighs> I know the answer will be no, but I'm going to ask this anyway because I will, I will really want to know what the answer will be. Will I see my dad? The spirit world is not one place. While we can sometimes communicate with the memories of those we have lost, they do not dwell there. First we will meet my guide. And then we will move through our conscious thoughts toward a wide open plain. At least that is how it appears to me. Mani always said to her it was a lagoon. Then we can try a few gentle exercises before returning home. I'm ready. Wonderful. Uh, I wonder if the guide is like a memory of Mani or something. Like, I keep talking about Mani for so long and we have never seen her. Like, I mean, I know she's not alive anymore, I don't think, but I don't know. The first thing to do is to hang your totem. It will be your... <sighs> <laughs> it will be a link to nature and also nature's link to you. A path and an anchor. Cool. And the entheogen? We chew it. It will have a thumbnail sized, I will have a thumbnail sized amount, but you just need a little fingernail. Blech. It smells quite sweet. It's actually surprisingly tasty. For that reason, you must be very careful to consume just a small amount.
how long should I chew it? Oh my god, how long should I chew it? Chew for as long as you want. It's just a little, like a little piece of spiritual chewing gum. But safe to swallow. I'm a bit... If we stopped now, you would just feel sleepy and have pleasant, vivid dreams. We can proceed, but it's up to you. The important thing is to not sit quietly in fear or anxiety, as in the spirit world, such things can take form. Oh my god, it's just like the Legend of Korra. I think I'm okay. A few butterflies in the stomach are to be enjoyed. I just mean, tell me if you feel scared and we can understand the fear. Together. That looks like an, a lot more than a thumbnail size. The final thing is to find our rhythm. I'm going to chant and you should strike that jump drum. This is not about keeping time. Nature has rhythms, but they flex and flow. This kind of drumming should not be regular, but respond to the world around us. Close your eyes, listen. Listen to the plants grow and the wind through the leaves, the bugs crawling, the earth, the air. Play with them. Oh. Uh oh. Don't, don't pay attention to the crow. Grandpa? Grandpa? Where are we? Where are we? Is this our conscious mind? Is this our, um, conscious mind? Am I supposed to do something to sink through? Am I supposed to... Wait, what? Why am I saying it twice? That was weird. Oh. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, the left is the picture of all the scientists that came. Is that the Fung in the middle, maybe? That's the Fung? And on the right is Miu and... Oh, their kids and the husband... K KD, I think the name was, or RD? What was it? I don't know. What is this place? Oh, shit. Something bad. This is not going well. Which one? I know her. Which one does she know? I know her. What does that mean? Is one of these people... The bird we keep seeing or something? Is that... You? Who? What? Ah! The guy all the way to the left? Is that Grandpa? Is that what he's a she's asking? Is that you? Grandpa? Is this right? That's Miyu. Oh my god. So, during our last nightmare, we saw, like, this big red demon thing outside the house burning it down. And it did look like this guy, so it literally is him. <sighs> oh no. 
Is that their kids? I don't want to see this. I don't like it. Wait, that said something different than when I clicked it. It was, we, we have to leave, and then it's now it says, I don't like it. <sighs> this is so creepy. What was that? Oh God. Oh God. Yep, this is what we saw in the dream. skull over I think what was grandpa's face in that picture too oh my god <sighs> and there was only two people that were alive in that picture and it was a girl and a guy <sighs> dude I really don't want him to be dead. Like I knew I thought maybe he would be he would die. <sighs> what the fuck, dude? He never really told us what was going to happen. I'm not okay. <sighs> Kai. Kai. Let's go. Let go. It's okay. Let me take care of him. You're shaking. I, I. Shh. He's breathing. He's not. Look, he's still alive. What happened? Oh, thank God, he's still alive. Something, something. Okay, okay. Look, I'll get him into bed. He didn't fall or anything, it's in his head. You need to talk to someone who knows this stuff. Yoke, go find Yoke. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. Yoke's gonna be so mad. He'll know what to do. I'll take care of No No. I can lift him easily. Go straight to Yoke. Ah. <sighs> what the hell, man? That was so weird. Like, who were the two people that were still alive in, in the picture? No, 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 no. Got to find Yoke. What's the deal, man? What does it all mean? The bird. Who are you? The music is so creepy right now. Should have gone the other way, but whatever. <laughs> Yoke's gonna be so mad at us. <sighs> God. 
Uh, is he okay? Is he sleeping? What's going on here? Oh, okay. I think he was sleeping. God, it looked so creepy. Oh. You have caught me napping, I... What has happened? We... We were in the spirit world. Like it started fine. But I thought we would be able to walk around. We couldn't move. There was a bunch of people in lab coats. And it was horrible. All the awful things Grandpa had ever seen, they were there. He just... Broke. Broke. What does this mean? Who's with him now? Me said I should come and find you. How can I help? Tell me how to fix it! I don't know where to begin. I'm sorry. I always helped with the practical side of his research. I have always been too afraid of the spiritual. Call your mother. My... Call Gaia. If he is preparing to leave us. She must come. <gasps> I have to help him. Time is too short for anything else. Leave it an hour or so, perhaps, so you can compose yourself. In the meantime, yes, let Mori know. She just left me to head to the temple. If you tell Mori, you won't have to tell anyone else. People will just know to look after you. And she can make sure Miyu has everything she needs to help No No. To keep No No nourished. Go to Mori by the temple. Such news. Dude, no, he can't. He just falls right back to sleep. He can't die. Like, I'm not okay. I really can't have him die. Like, that's not okay. <sighs> like, there has to be something we can do. Maybe the shaman. This is the way to the temple, right? I'm so unnerved right now. I'm hitting an hour, but I gotta keep going because I, I, I gotta know what's going on. <sighs> the heck? Damn, <laughs> Mori! <laughs> she's so funny. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, hello, love. I finally got time to do a little. Mori! <laughs> What's wrong? Something terrible happened. Grandpa, it's like he got struck, and now he won't wake up. Oh, love. Oh, oh no. Who's with him now? Me, you. Well, don't you fret. She's got a good head on her shoulders. I'll make sure she has what she needs to care for him. And that no one bothers you today. What should I do? All you can do now is look after yourself. We'll do the rest. Once, when I was grieving, Nono taught me a song. Said it helped him after Dora fled. This place is full of ghosts.
I think I saw RD when it all went wrong. It was like a vision made up of everything Grandpa ever felt bad about. I saw RD. He was so scary. Their house was on fire. Maury, it was horrible. It was horrible. We never really recovered. No, no, certainly didn't. I'm so sorry we brought our troubles on you, onto you. It's not your fault. It's not his fault either. That song, seven songs. Sorry, love. Seven songs. Sorry. Nothing. Thank you. Take care of yourself, love. Bloom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That song she sang by the temple. Remember the weird Birdman rhyme? It said something about seven gardens. I've grown six. I can't actually make things worse at this point. Maybe I should plant even one more. Oh God. I don't want to listen to this bird person. I feel like the bird person is bad news. Also the fact that everyone keeps asking who is with grandpa makes me kind of suspicious of Mew. Like, I don't know why. I just feel like also, like, why was Miyu there so quickly? Like, I don't know, just I'm a little suspicious of Miyu right now. Maybe I'm not supposed to be, but I kind of am. I should wait until I finish the garden, then hopefully Mom will be in her office and I can call. That was the seventh garden song, Mori saying, it's gotta be the temple garden. All right. And montage away. garden felt really weird. Creepy. It's probably just in my head, though. Surprised there's any room in there amongst all the guilt and sadness. Yay me. I really need to talk to mom now. I should wait until I finish the garden, then hopefully mom... Okay. Okay. God. This is weird. Oh, hey. Oh, 
love. Mom told me. I feel so bad. Was it my fault? What? No. Of course not. It's just in the vision. Uh, let's talk about the scientists. There was this picture of grandma and grandpa and all their scientist friends. They all just melted. Then there was this fire. Well, there were two uh, people that didn't melt in that picture. Was that grandma and grandpa? A terrible fire, and me use... He thinks it's his fault. All her children. And it's like... If I hadn't been there, he wouldn't have had to see any of it. I'm not so good at the spiritual stuff. But it seems to me... That it's not about you. You didn't take him there. You went with him. He took you there. He's stuck in our terrible past. We've all tried to move on. But I suppose he never did. I couldn't get him to move. He wouldn't move. He helped us so much after Monty died. I wish we had seen what he needed, that he needed helping. First thing I did when I found out was a stock take. Maybe it sounds a little odd, but counting helps me feel calm. Anyway, I found a few seeds. I'm not sure if they're any use to you. I don't know because I'm done with the seed, so I don't know. Do I have to go back and plant more stuff? I was just thinking back. This is a wonderful place most of the time. But we've had some hard times too. No no always seemed to think it was his job to fix us. But it's not about broken or fixed. Mani always said it's about balance. We've been off kilter for a while now. We need to work harder, talk more, I think. Go on now. Go do what you need to do. Phew. <laughs> They've never been able to catch a fish before, have they? Jessica, hold on now, buddy. Not strong enough. Not, not strong. We can do this together. We can do it. It was my song. Sure, your song caught it. Now we just gotta tire it out. Too big to haul it. To haul out when it's thrashing around like this. Hey. Just hold on, and then we can get, and then we got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we'll see. It looks like a. I thought I saw legs though. I 
maybe I just saw the tail. I was gonna say it looks like a frog hybrid, but I guess it's just a fish. Hi! Mom, you have to. You've reached Sky's answering machine. No! I'm sorry I can't take your call right now. Please leave your message after the tone and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Beep! Mom, you have to come. You have to come right now. It's Grandpa. I'm safe, but I think he's... You have to come right away. I can't do this alone. Please. I'm so tired. Not there. I'm so tired. Just realized I haven't slept for like two days. Completely wrecked. I guess I should rest. Maybe when I wake up, something will have happened with the gardens? Ugh, oh, jeez. <sighs> Anyone else I can talk to? Well, there's tongue over there. I couldn't work out, uh, I couldn't work out what to do. So I thought the best thing was to keep out the way. It's fine. I'm sorry. Do you want to? I don't know what, what I want. Well, um, uh, tell me if you think of anything I can do. I want to be better at this stuff, but I don't know how. I think that's fair. Is Grob around? We can never go see him. <laughs> Let's go have some freaking nightmares. Love that for us. Can't wait to see Creepy Birdman. My favorite person. It's okay. I'm keeping him cool. It's not... I don't think it's like a regular coma or whatever. He'll drink if you hold water to his mouth. It's more like the bit of him that's him is stuck somewhere else. Just out of reach. Thank you for being with him. It's not your fault, Kai. You have to start telling yourself now. 
so that maybe eventually you can believe it. I don't know why she even believes it's her fault. Like, Nono's the one that encouraged going there. It was all Nono's idea. Like, you're just a child. It's not your fault. I'm so wrecked. Kai. Is this a dream? I feel like this is a dream. Kai! Is it... Grandpa? It's the Papu tree. You have to see. But Grandpa, how is he? I'm sorry. He's the same. But you have to see the tree. So beautiful. Petals falling like rain. Look! Wait. Wait. But don't... Don't the Papa flowers, like, make more of the centipede things? Or am I just... I don't know. I don't know what it does. Papu flowers for the fung. Sorry? I know what I have to do. Oh! I brought the gardens back to life. But it's more than that. All this time, people have seen the fung as the cause of damage. But Jella said... Life from decay and decay from life. It's about balance. This flower is life. Huh? Uh? <laughs> I have to go. Can you look after Grandpa a bit longer? Of course, but where? I have to go. Oh my god. How much... Wait, why am I up here? Why am I up here? I was down... Whoa. I understood what I have to do now. I have to find the great funk. Well, I have to... That means I have to go all the way to Jella, right? Why am I up here? I slept in my room. <laughs> and I just give the fung a petal. <laughs> I wish you could see it, Grandpa. But you're trapped, aren't you? All this time, you've blamed yourself. You're trapped somewhere in a mess it was never your job to fix. I need to restore balance. It was you, wasn't it? The tree, the blossom. I think I have to go to the Fung. Seven gardens, mood is sung. Papu flowers for the Fung. What you made is beautiful. Is there nothing I can say to keep you safe?
Trust me. We cannot bear any more loss. Please. I want to talk to everyone one last time. Just in case I die. Come on now, you two. No, no, wouldn't want us to sit around like this. I feel so useless. All of us do. I'm glad I got a chance to tell No, no about the boat. We spoke a bit, um, just before band night. Do you remember the time him and Yoke had an argument out in? his canoe on some research trip? Oh lord. They were stuck out there all night because neither of them could agree to paddle in the same direction. We should check in on Yoke after dinner. I can do it. I can do that. Um, mom. I just wanted to say sorry. I messed up. I messed up. I thought I was in this love story that was going to turn out to be wonderful or whatever. And now I just... I don't know how to do it, Mom. I don't know how to be a dad. No one ever tells you this, Tongi. But none of us know how to do it. You just do your best. Miu wouldn't let anyone take over from her. Looking after Nono, I mean. Did she see him? Okay, just said she wanted to care for him herself. She always has to do everything herself. Not always. They were such a team, her and R.D. Bit of an age difference, mind. But you could tell. They just fitted. I can remember being so amazed by just the feeling of being around them. It's like a penis. penance. What is her caring, caring for no no? You never really believed she forgave him for what happened. It's her way of proving she did. Well, where is she right now? Because she wasn't, um, she wasn't with him when we left. So I'm curious. Is she over by the house, maybe? By the ruins? No, she isn't. I wonder where she is. I'm so suspicious of her right now. <laughs> petals, petals everywhere. Strange old thing, that's for sure. Almost feels like some kind of message. Yeesh. This sure seems spicy. I think we might have put a, a mite too much of our sauce in this mar marinade. Maybe. Just a little more. I told you, Bo. You gotta leave, leave it optional. I gotta say, this was an impressive haul, Bo. Real impressive. I caught my white whale. Yoke told me that fish was my white whale. Sure sounds like a Yoke thing to say. Wow, they did catch it, huh? Okay. 
can't call mom again. Well, I hope she comes. I hope she gets to, you know, reunite with No No and work things out. Wait, Grob is gone. What's the deal with Grob? He just left, huh? Okay. So I don't know where Miu is. Unless she left. Maybe Miu did leave. With Grob. Maybe they went to the mainland? I don't know. Kalu Kali Snarf. What a wonderful day. All our hard work come to fruition. Snarfle. Old Papu flowering. Uh, actually, it was all my hard work, but you know, whatever. There has been a great change. Papu is flowering. Even in a time of alignment, the power of the fung is dangerous. You said it yourself, life out of decay. All theories must be tested. I wish you luck with your experiment. Hmm. Nothing else over here? Oh. I'm already at an hour and a half, but I can't stop now. Oh, what, what, what? This is it. I feel unprepared. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. How am I gonna get past those centipedes? Oh god. Are they there? Dude. Here goes. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be the decay, aren't I? <laughs> oh no. Oh. I'm scared. Ooh, this sure is pretty though. Wow. Cool. These are all little jellies. Look at them all. Are they alive? Oh, are you the fung? You seem a lot smaller than I thought you'd be. Whoa. Oh. 
Oh god. Is she gonna give that to grandpa or something? Did I just die? It like eviscerated me. What? What was that? What was going on? Oh, that's where she went. I was wondering where she was. Rob went to go pick up the mom. That's what he was doing. I see, I see. Oh, yeah, what's the- <gasps> Oh! Is that Grandpa on his own little island? <laughs> oh. Wait, who are you? Are you Grandpa? Are you young Grandpa? Who are you? What is that? It's you. What does it mean? <gasps> What's going on? Hi. You found me. I thought I was lost. I thought I would be alone here forever. It's okay. You figured it out. You saw what I didn't see. I thought I was dying, that I needed to train a replacement. I feared what would happen to the community without me. But the problem was me. Wow. The problem was no-no? I g how how could he have all have been him? It's so dark here. I don't know how long it has been. How long have I been here? It feels like years. I'm not sure. Time feels weird here, doesn't it? It was the deer, a white deer. She came to me, showed me where to find you. Do you know your guide's name? Semenya. Strong and noble, I like it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so, Birdman... Birdman has been no no spirit guy this whole time. And... 
Birdman has been trying to get us to save No-No this whole time. Oh, God. And you have known my guide, Karo, Karu, for some time, I believe. Did you send him to me? I did not. Though he knew I wished for you to visit. Kai. How am I supposed to go back? I think I can find a way. No, I mean... How can I face it? Her little children. Her whole life. My best friend's son. Torn apart because of me. I belong here. To this darkness. No. Not because of you. This. This is the problem. You have to let go of this stuff. When Dad died, I thought... I wished on everything. Stars, spilled salt, seeds that floated by. But it was never your fault. It was never yours. I trained him. And I failed. It was my responsibility to give back what the expedition my colleague stole. It wasn't your job to do that. I couldn't wish my dad alive again. But in the end, I wasn't wishing for him. I was wishing for before. To be a kid again. In passing, the practice on to RD, I thought I would be passing the knowledge back into the community. I would have unpicked our damage. Instead, there was more. But in all of this, you are suggesting I have situated myself as some kind of savior? You meant well. After the disaster of Moon Dragon, Mutacione needed a founder and a leader. I tried to give the power back to RD. To one of the community. But you think. Perhaps I was trying to predict Mani's path. Using an idea of power and responsibility which was mine. Not hers. I see. What a clever, wonderful person you are. <sighs> Grandpa. The power sh needs to be shared. My task should be to open it up. Tell me, tell me, what else you have realized? I think you have to speak with mom. All those letters she sent? 
think I understand why you never replied now. I think you thought you were dangerous to us. But you're not. We need to be a family. Do you know the way out? Together. Oh, well, well done. Well done. So what was the deal with the floating island? For a second I thought it was like Nono was living on it, like a younger version of Nono. But I'm not so sure that's who that was. I'm a little confused. Is Grandpa better? I have to find him. Okay, well, hold on. Let's see if there's anything different in here. <laughs> ah, hey, look, it's the flower at the top of the tree. And yeah, you're literally presenting the flower. Oh my god, it's presenting the flower to the fung. Oh my god. That was so interesting. I wanted to see more, like when we started seeing the flashbacks of the meteor. Um hitting the ground like I wanted to see more of that and then also just like how like I, it sounded like I, I'm still trying to piece t things together but like I feel like they said from the beginning that after everyone was like mutated they came out from the ground or something like I, I just don't I don't understand oh my days Hi, you're okay. Uh, I feel kind of groggy. Everyone's out looking for you. I just had to stop, pick a few berries. I missed a meal and the baby is... Oh, never mind. I'm so glad you're okay. You've got to head back into town. Tell everyone you're okay. I'll I'll just slow you down. Quickly, go. Going. I feel like I'm going to have to watch like a really long explanation video <laughs> because I still don't really understand a lot of what's I don't know like <sighs> like I don't really understand the fun like I guess it was the meteor that landed and it became like a mushroom and <sighs> God, I'm trying to wrap my head around this, like, the scientists tried to, like, either go to it, research it or something, and it killed all of them? Like, like, it didn't seem like it was all that dangerous. Was it just because we had the flowers? And then, like, how much of that, like, how much of the danger, like, I don't understand, like, the, like half of it was, like, Nono's fault? Like, I don't really understand, like... How much was Nono responsible for? Bibbidi. Bibbidi. Everything okay, Bo? Kakai! Everyone was very, very. They were shouting and worrying. It upset me. I had to, to come here and sit and try and sing. 
I'm sorry. I think you've been worried about me. But I'm okay now. Oh, that's good. Bippity. <laughs> He's not worried about me. Uh, I don't... I have a feeling nobody's gonna be in here. Oh. Going to miss everyone so much. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. You're safe and sound. I just came to brew everyone some coffee. 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 We've been out looking for you night and day. Where's... Don't you go wasting time talking to me. Your mom's here. She's with No-No at his place. And they're all worried out of their minds. Go, go. Alright, I'm going. I'm wasting my time. <sighs> go, get up there. <sighs> Sorry. Oh my. My heart is hammering and I feel lightheaded. But you're safe. I'm sorry if I scared you. So you should be. I could barely face your mother. I was so certain you had been lost. Never have I been so happy to be proved wrong. Forgive me, Kai. It seems you are much stronger than I was able to give you credit for. It was your research that helped me work it out, all out. As much as I would like to sit here and hear you flatter me, you must head up and see your mother. Did you know that she's here? And No-No is all but recovered. We will talk more later. For now, make haste. Make haste! Aww. There she is. Kai! Oh, thank goodness. Where have you been? You made it. She arrived with Grob this morning. And when I got here, everyone said you'd gone missing. But how did you get here so fast? Kai, you've been missing for more than a day. But you're okay? Yes, I am. You helped me back. Kar Karu would never have let harm come to us. My problem was that I was... Lost. But you found me. And I believe found a guide of your own. She was so strong. So beautiful and strong. I felt safe with her. Can I see her again? She is with you. She is with you, my child. Some of us are feeling a little left out of the story here. Forgive me. I think we're all missing something important here. The poor girl hasn't eaten for a day. How about I cook you all up a lovely lunch and you can tell us what happened? Perfect. I'm starving. You go on ahead of me. Ahead of me. I want to just sit in the sun in my garden for a moment. Gather myself.
and I saw you. You were on the harbor, and it was like I knew you were coming. Remarkable. I can't believe everything you've done. I'm so proud of you. But it wasn't really about me. I mean, I know I helped, but bal balancing all the gardens and stuff, by balancing all the gardens and stuff, but actually, it was about a different kind of balance. Grandpa got sick because he blamed himself. But his blame was kind of... selfish? I don't know. That's the wrong word. No, I know exactly what you mean. Your Nana used to talk to me about the same thing. She would say that while she was furious, she knew why Nono had to stay. But she called it a dangerously righteous kind of guilt. I'm sorry if you feel like I made you come here against her wishes. Oh, love, no. I loved your Nana. But that anger... It wasn't her. A terrible thing happened, and she did her best to get me away from it. But then she was alone. She had to deal with it alone. I can't imagine what it must have been like. I can see why she was angry at him for staying. And I can see why he stayed. All those letters we wrote him? I thought he didn't want us in his life. Turns out he thought he was protecting us. Is that what he said? We spoke a little. I just stopped to sit by him for a second, catch my breath from looking for you. And then he woke. He woke and he said everything was going to be okay. I'm still a little angry. He spent time trying to be a hero when I needed a dad. But I can forgive him. Mom, how am I supposed to go back to the real world after all this? <laughs> And you were so annoyed you had to miss swim camp. But you don't have to leave it behind. Let's try and make this place a part of our lives, okay? Just think of all the mischief Toby can get himself into. Oh man, I so want to introduce him to the dots. Oh look, Claire's coming. It's such a delight to see you again. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't have a chance to eat while we were searching. Um, actually, I'm supposed to say, Spike's setting up for a photo. A photo? He's kind of an amateur ph photographer, and he wants to get a group shot to um, mark the day. Spike is Claire's boo. Mom! Sounds wonderful. I have to pass the message. Why not let Kai spread the word? She and I have got all the time in the world to catch up. But I want to hear more about you. Tell me about this Spike chap. He wasn't around when I was here, right? Spike's great. He's got his own houseboat, and he sings romantic songs and everything. Sounds dreamy. Claire can tell you more. I'll go spread the word about this photo. Oh, that would be lovely. And it would give me time to get my hair done, too. Thank you. Oh my god, we're at two hours. I hope my computer doesn't explode. <sighs> Let's 
That's me trying to talk to you there. Hey there, Jitterbug. Did Claire tell you about the photo I want to take? Which would be great if you could pass the message on if you're chatting to folks. You got it. OMG, everyone's here, everyone's okay. Yes. I already feel like everything that happened wasn't real. I wonder if Grandpa remembers it. I should tell folks about the photo and then check back in with Spike. Oh, doesn't she? So chic. I feel so frumpy in comparison. You've got your own style. But she's just so cool. She's definitely confident. That minimalistic aesthetic. But I love your aesthetic too. We cut your hair in these great bold lines. And I love the earthy colors you work with in dressmaking. Very woodland, woodland nymph. Gosh. I should just be glad to see her, I know. Your feelings are valid. But I think you don't have anything to worry about. Anyway, let's get your edges neatened up for this photo. And it was was bigger than my whole body. Nip tick dip nut dip tick. And we heaved it onto land. And now we have fish skewers, sk skewers for dinner. Hey Bo, did you hear about the photo? There is a photo pho photograph of the fish. No, I mean Spike wants to do a group photo. That's welcome too. Tick dup do. I like photos. I should have took one of the fish. Maybe we can all hold fish sk skewers. Maybe. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just uh, enjoying the music and the atmosphere. Have these two finally gotten along? And you know, if you get past the reef, there's a great big eel monster. No, there isn't. You'll find out, my lad. And you'll find out to your peril if you don't make that bark of yours great big eel proof you're just trying to scare me off your patch i'm just trying to look out for one of the people who will protect me from dirty nappy changes oh wait actually oh dang it i wish i would have chose the first one because we did see it on our way here i remember seeing that monster Hi, you two. Oh my god, this is exactly how it started. <laughs> Sorry. Except, maybe I'll hold the baby while you change it. It wouldn't feel like a proper goodbye without an old-fashioned tongue crate to the face. Spike wants everyone in the square for a photo. Sure you're okay? You tell him we've got unloading to do first. Come on, lad. It's the last shift you'll ever do before you get eat by the great big eel. Oh, 
man. Do we ask Jella? I don't think Jella can come up here, right? I don't think Jella can. To see a garden grow is remarkable. As remarkable as it is ordinary. I feel the same about the young women you have grown in about young woman you have grown into. Though the credit is obviously guys. You will stay in contact, right? Try and stop me. I believe that Spike wishes to take a photo of us all. First thing I shall do when they are developed is send you a copy. Yes, yes. How lucky, how lucky. I feel like I should have something grand or important to say. I know the feeling. But this is not an ending. Merely the closing of a chapter. A very fine chapter. But with many adventures yet to come. Don't worry. I'll be down in a little while. For now I have some sunshine to soak in. I want to come back here every summer. Wonder if mom will let me? <laughs> I don't think anyone's in here, but... Nope, didn't think so. <laughs> I wonder if Dennis is at the top of the tree. Might as well try. I don't know who Al looks like. So we got Yoke and Miu. It was you, wasn't it? What was? Over two years of careford, careful record and study. Record, I don't know. And the tree only got worse. In one week, you did more than I could, could in two years. You might have been the only thing that kept Papu. I'm not angry, not angry. I just feel like I have been missing a bigger picture. Do you think Tung's going to be all right? He's a good lad. Much better than he gives himself credit for. I have great hopes that this will be the making of him. It feels as though we are at a new beginning. Thank you for your part in it. And now... I know, I know. Stop being so noisy and leave you to meditate. Ha! Dennis, that's the first time I've heard you laugh. Oh dear. Very uncouth. Very uncouth. See you in the square for the group photo? Certainly, certainly. I mean, I'm not supposed to tell the shaman, am I? <laughs> I think I got them when I told the one dot or whatever. Oh, Miu. Hey. 
I've been meaning to ask. In your vision, you didn't see anybody, did you? I didn't see RD. I saw some stuff. But I was, I don't know, in places to do with me and no no. Everyone acts like he died. But he didn't. He did terrible things, but he didn't die. He was driven from his mind, Nono said. He disappeared. I feel like if I knew if he was really gone, it would be easier to move on. I saw Spike was fussing about getting a photo of everyone. We can talk if you want. I just wanted someone to tell me how to start. Like I lost everything. I didn't know where to start. But do you now? The garden. I think I need something from before. A piece of who I was. I'm going to keep this garden going. Go through the motions until I start to feel stuff again. And then when I'm ready, I think we need to pull these ruins down. Build something new. That sounds like a really good idea. Thanks. Okay, okay, okay. I have a theory. So... I think... I think her husband's still alive somewhere. But because he's gone mad, his consciousness is the person that's on that floating island. Like, that's her husband. It must be, right? Like, what else would be the deal with that? Like, I just want to know where, where his body is, like, where he is then. Like, in the physical world, if his spirit's trapped there. you are. It's so delightful to see your mother- uh, sorry, all grown up. <laughs> I must say, I'm looking forward to, forward to having a chat with her. Last time I saw her, she was knee high. And a bit of a handful between you and me. So that's where Toby gets it from. Any embarrassing stories or pics you might have? Very welcome. Speaking of photos, Spike wants us all in the square for a group pic. Oh yes, Claire mentioned. I think she's going to come and get me when everyone's everyone is ready. In the meantime, I'm recording our research for future generations to peruse. I um, wanted to thank you for all your help. Well, that is very a very kind thing to say. I hope you will forgive this, the caution I have shown. I was out of care, but you- It was out of care, but you- You are not my son. I'm so sorry that happened to you. I am too. But you have helped me, my dear. You have helped all of us. Miyu still seems pretty. Some things cannot be fixed. But I think we can see our wounds more clearly now. We will help each other to heal. 
You will come back and visit us, won't you? I need to come and check you're looking after my gardens. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, dear child. I'm very pleased to know you. Hm. Well... I wonder if I... I wonder if I can talk to... I don't know, can I get Jello to come up here for a photo? That doesn't seem possible, but I'll try. What about you, Russell? You want to come for a picture? Dennis? Snarfle. It's me. You troublemaker. Be gone. Grr. Well, I want her to come for the picture. Who is Princess, anyway? I'm just saying, people like to send photographs, right? Yeah! Don't encourage him! They're just making it... They're just, ah, they're just moving it from pile to pile now. Well, if it doesn't need spreading, I don't see what else there is for us to do. Maybe we can measure the pi the pile delta? Why not diversify an existing market? Enter photo cards you can write on and send in the post, saving you an envelope. <laughs> sure you can't find a shorter name for it? It's quite a complex concept to try and communicate. Oh, y'all. I have received the message about the photograph. Oh, cool. This compound, when applied to my outer surfaces, will allow me to spend limited time in the sunlight. So you can be in the picture. That is my hope. It is currently fairly rudimentary, and I will only test it for a short amount of time to begin with, but it will be sufficient for the picture. Well, hope it works. We will soon know. I don't want to hang out in the creepy mall. <laughs> Huh. I wonder if there's like some kind of special like award or something you can get uh, all right I don't know in game in game thing you could get if you like get all Get all the seeds and like fill up every gar- I don't know. Something. Really. Princess, you don't want to go and be in the picture, huh? Alright, let's get it done.
Okay, I'm about ready here. Let's bring everyone in. <laughs> Am I in the shot? There's a lot, a lot of noise. Oh, it's such a delight you're here. Your hair looks so good, Claire. I love the clean lines. My coffee is getting cold. Look, just as soon as the sun comes out from behind that cloud, we'll be ready. I knew there was a use for my chain of floating reflective surfaces to direct light device. Nip nip. Just as soon as you work out how to more mirrors. It is such a, a it is such a pleasure to stand with all with you all. The compound for protection against UV and UVA rays appears to be effective. Come on now, I can't hold this grimace all day. Nick Dick! Browning is cooler anyway. Bopick, that fish you caught is going to give us a fine feast tonight. And we'll have fish stock for days. Nearly there, folks. Will someone tell me when the sun is out? I find my cheeks unable to sustain a smile for long. I can't believe it's only been a week since I first met you all. Going to miss us, Jitterbug? It's been a delight. All those wonderful gardens. <laughs> and the recovery of some, of someone very precious to us. Very funny. I think he's ready. Here we go. Ready? As will ever be. One, one, <laughs> two, three. That was really cute. That was something else. I still have so many questions that need answering, but I guess that's for another day. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and check out some other videos on my channel. Please like and subscribe. My name is Susie. This was Mikasione and goodbye.